What's up guys? Alright, today we're going to look at how to install Metal Gears in the M4A1 gearbox. So, one thing we need to do here is replace the, the bushings with the bearings. That'll just make it run so much smoother. And I'll just show you here, if we put the intermediate gear in, just give it a spin. That's with no no shims on at all, but you can see it just goes rather rather smoothly. A lot more than on if we were just running bushings. So, first thing we want to do is we'll do this one or two gears at a time. So you put in this intermediate gear here, you grab the other end side of the housing and you put it on. And have a look at how much play you've got inside. So we'll move it up and down and see how much play it's got with the two of them pushed closely together. We've got very little or no play there at all. So in reality, we don't need any shims on that intermediate gear anymore. With that in mind, we'll put this one in place. So this is the first sector gear. We'll put that in with no bushings. See how it's running pretty rough. And also if we grab the motor here, which I've already pre-installed the, uh, the gear on, if we push it in. See how it's moving that top, this, in, uh, this first gear here, sector gear. It shouldn't be doing that. So if you didn't shim that up at all and left it like that, it would be very noisy because literally you're pushing a lot of pressure on this even before we have the other half on. So I already know we have to pack this out quite a fair bit. And then if we put this other half on here, and we move it, we've got a lot of play. See that? That's an incredible amount of play. So. We want to reduce that as much as possible and because we know if we get this motor on and put it in place, so it's, it's pushing up that sector gear, which is not good. That means it's rubbing against it instead of just, just interlocking with it. We don't want that. So let's take it apart. Take that off. I've got a few different sized shims here. I've got 0.13. 0.25 and because we actually have a fair bit here to do, so stop running through it, I've also got the 0.5s. You don't typically need to use them too often, but uh, in this case I, I believe we will need to, to use those. So let's go ahead and start the process. Put that on. Now I'm thinking put two of them on. I think that there's so much play in that, it's actually going to need one millimetre of shim just to get it to interlock. So let's put that in there now. It's going pretty nicely. Before we do that, you always just have to have some shim in there. I'll just put a very thin 0.13 on there. Yeah, it's going a lot free now. That's just with one shimmy. So now we've got this super gear there. We'll put that in place. And let's see what it looks like with the cover on. See how much we'll play with the amount of play we've got here. Very little play now, probably about point two millimeter of play there. Now if we put the motor in place, let's see how much it, it pushes on that gear. It doesn't, which is perfect. We don't want it to push on that gear. We want it to lock into it, but not actually push into it. It's just perfect. So we'll just put a 0.13 on top of both of these. Let's 
go ahead and try it again. Give it a spin. Move it up and down. Very little play. Just perfect. Put this in place. Interlocks, but doesn't push that gear up at all anymore. That's perfect. Alright, so we got those first two gears done. Third one. So here, put this in place. Because we didn't move that one up a little bit, this one will also require it. So let's put it on put a 1.3 on the bottom layer. Put it back in place. Very nice. has got actually quite a fair bit in it. So there's probably about 0.5 there. Now we want to have a look at the gears on the inside, inside here, and see how they're meshing together. It's actually meshing fairly well and because we've got nice clear gearbox here, you can actually have a look inside and see how that's meshing. We don't want this going up too high or pushing, putting too many shims on the bottom because it's actually going to move it away and not maximise the amount of teeth space we have there. So we actually want to put more on the top than the bottom. So, and it needs a lot there. So let's go ahead and put a, a couple of 0.25s on there. Essentially, how you shim, especially the gearbox for the M4A1.